Physicians for Social Responsibility, an organization which for 30 years has been working for the abolition of nuclear weapons. WPSR is our state chapter of National Physicians for Social Responsibility, which is affiliated with International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War, which won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1985. Cherise, yes. Cherise served in the United States Army and as well as being the executive director of WPSR, she is the vice president of National Veterans for Peace. So please welcome Cherie Eiffel. And as we're standing here, it's interesting to me that for my whole life, not only have we had nuclear weapons, but our government has told us we're trying to dismantle and watch the proliferation of those weapons. It seems a far cry what has actually happened in the past 33, 40 years. Um, we have a president now who has clearly stated his commitment to achieving a world free of nuclear weapons, although he's also said that he doubts that would happen in his lifetime. In, the la in recent weeks, uh, he has, has met with the Russian leader and they've signed the START agreement. Um, recently, one of the people at PSR said it doesn't totally suck, but it mostly sucks. So we have a, a significant amount of work there to do. Um, and of course, it has not been ratified, nor has a comprehensive test ban treaty. And our commitment to the non-proliferation treaty has, uh, has been poor at, at best. Um, I was on a plane a couple days ago, and I got talking with the man next to me. We, we got into this conversation about what we do for a living, where we work. Um, I told him about PSR, I told him about uh, the nuclear work, the anti-nuclear work. And I told this man how many nuclear weapons we have, and he was stunned. He was absolutely stunned. And I, I asked him, I said, what, what could we possibly do with that many nuclear weapons? And he had no response, of course. But his response was, as long as we have one more than everybody else, then that's, that's what's important. And I, I don't have the guts always to take the next step in that conversation, but my, my response is, as long as we have one more than anybody else, we are, we are not safe. It's us. So physicians, PSR and physicians in general know that the, the idea is to first do no harm, to, to practice prevention. Veterans and Veterans for Peace know that wars are easy to start, hard to stop, and the people hurt most often are the innocent. What the U.S. is practicing today is not prevention, it's not deterrence. We're aggressors in all of this. We have 10,000 nuclear weapons, or nearly 10,000 nuclear weapons. We will spend nearly seven billion dollars on nuclear weapons in 2011. It, it is not deterrence, that is a long way. It's up to us as, as individuals, as physicians, as veterans, as people, as singing grannies, to, to tell, tell Obama that this is, this is way too long, this is too much. And I just want to take a, a moment, I, uh, some, most people here probably know that when uh, Dr. Martin Luther King received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, he addressed the issue of nuclear weapons. And I just want to read this real quickly. Um, a few lines from, from that speech. He said, we must fix our vision, not merely on the negative expulsion of war, but upon the positive affirmation of peace. We must see that peace represents a sweeter music, a cosmic melody that is far superior to the discords of war. Somehow we must transform the dynamics Somehow we must transform the dynamics of the world of the world power struggle from the negative nuclear arms race which no one can win to a positive contest to harness man's creative genius for the purpose of making peace and prosperity a reality for all of the nations of the world. In short, we must shift the arms race into a peace race. If we have the will and determination to mount such a peace offensive, we will unlock hitherto tightly sealed doors of hope and transform our imminent cosmic elegy into a psalm of creative fulfillment. Thanks.